I will bury you if you die. There another hospital around around this area aside from this one? Yes. When you walk out of this hospital, by your right, walk straight. The first close by your left. Okay. Walk down to see hospital. So. Teach the person that did this to you a lesson he or she will never forget. Huh. Honey, my baby, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I will deal with that person. I will. They want to keep you for me. Excuse me, sir. I, I was told by the nurses at the decks. I just want to say that you know me. I am the husband of Very good. Can you please come into my office for a good discussion, please? How did my wife get here? Let's just get to the office. Your wife needs some extra time now to incorporate. Please. Hello, sugar. <laughs> oh. Can you come to the house? Yeah, come to the house now. Alright. 
And why are you here? I mean, what are you doing there? We'll get back to your room now if I descend on you! What is it? What is wrong with you? Will you open that stinking tie of yours? Let me get in and have my way. Now listen, the reason I married you is to have my way when I want it and make babies if I want. After all, you and your wicked mother connived and you aborted my first child and you claimed it was a miscarriage. Now, you're trying to form one scent. You're trying to be a saint all of a sudden. If you don't allow me to have my way. Since you don't want to, you don't want to. What kind of mess have I gotten myself into? Can this be called marriage? This is worse than nightmare. Oh, oh, Joanne. Is this the kind of home you envisioned? Is it?
Jane, my daughter. Marriage is the union of two imperfect persons. But what gets me worried is I don't know how this would look like. I can't ask you to leave your husband so. I can't. When I married your father, it was very difficult for me. Because of his rascality, everyone around me wanted me to leave him. But I endured. Today he's a changed man. It's over. I'm sure that your own will also be over. Please, my daughter, try to endure. Endure, please. Jane, I can't oblige to thy request to ask you to come back to this home. Go back to your husband and make him see reasons why he should not be beating you. If I allow you to come back to this room, it's a mockery to this family. But why does he like using her as a punching bag? If not for Paul, what people will say, I would have come to that house, that is house myself, and pack your things. But look at it. You have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy it. Oh, Mama, is that all you have to say? I have to tell you how critical my situation is. Huh? Joan. Okay. Joan, how many times did I call you? Go back to your husband. There's no way we will subscribe that you come back home here. It's not possible. How long will I continue this, Papa? Just look at me. Was I this pain when he, he, he came to marry me? Was I? No, no, no! We, the judge, cannot permit such, Sister Joanne. How on earth could you conceive this? Okay, open your Bible now. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Verse 4. The wife does not have authority over her body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. What is this Bible letting us to know? That we should be submissive and understand one another. Have you informed your husband about this plan of yours? No, Pastor. But, but I think it has gotten to a stage where his opinion does not matter to me anymore. Sister Joanne, Mama, I'm surprised at you. That you can still be saying this? How should I still relate to a man who does not care about me, whether I exist or not? Let's go further into the scripture to get what our daddy has been saying all this while. The same 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. Mm. So Sister Joan, you have no excuse whatsoever to abandon your husband. Mama, even at the verge of losing my breath. Sister Joanne, have you forgotten the promise made at the altar of God mm. and in the presence of the saints? No. But Pastor, let me be the one to think about that. Pastor, I'm at the point of losing my life. Can't you see? 
I'm the one that is wearing these shoes and I know where it pinches. Put yourself in my shoes, Pastor. Or if I were to be your daughter, what would you have me do? Joan, come out of this marriage before you lose your life. What kind of a man hits his wife so hard if he's not a beast in a human form? Why? I know you'll be thinking of what people will say if you leave your marriage. But darling, your life, your happiness is more essential. Is leaving my marriage the right thing to do? And how do I cope the shame? Shame? Shame on what people will think. So that, carefully, look. Life, life is too short. Too short. Just do the right thing and leave the rest. Will I be doing the right thing by abandoning my home? Oh. Stay put and die. Stay put and die, dear. Truly, there's no safer place. Parents has rejected me. The house of God where I feel my interests should be protected are now being politicized. Even my best friend's cancer sounds to me as though she wants me to pull out so she can park in. I've been beaten. Stripped off and abandoned all alone in the wilderness. Oh, Frederick. How did you become this hostile to me? You gave me reason to believe you're a good man. And I married you. But what do I get in return? Smoke down every morning as my breakfast. Best option to walk away, is it? Yes, I have to end this before it ends my life. No matter what I've invested in this marriage, I have to end it now. I have to. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Don't tell me you don't know how to play the piece. I know you to know how to play. Um, let's join this in this and help the. Like <laughs> Yeah, I thought you said you don't know how to play. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So let's look for another three. No, look for another three. Let's bring this down. Bring this down. Oh, hello. He said it up.
I warned you about the manner in which you matter this woman. But you never adhered to my counsel. But you never adhered to my counsel. Yes, I understand. You are never happy with any woman that comes your way because of your teenage experience. But you can never rob Peter to pay for. <laughs> Stop shedding this your crocodile tears because you have certainly gotten what you want. <sighs> ben. You know my greatest regret is that I beat up my wife, but I, I don't have the courage or the, 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 the right words to apologize to her. And now she's gone. She's gone. I, I just, I just, I just, I just wish she can, she can just forgive me. You know, it's, it's going to be like, you know, giving life to the. To, to, to the dead. That, that's how I'm going to feel if she can forgive me wherever she is right now. But <laughs> God, friend, oh. you don't see to miss me. Eh? How possible do you think that would be? After sending her to her early grave. Ah. <laughs> ben, <laughs> Ben, you, 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 you're my friend, right? You, you, you're my friend, and, and true friends, they, they, they stick together. In bad and good times, right? This is when I need you the most. Okay, I need you to advise me. Some advice! Then they listen to me. Please, they fuck up. Okay, I need your advice, Ben. Just Some advice you never took for years. You know what I'm thinking? I'm done with you, man. Ben! Ben, you two, they, they leave me, they come out. You're, you're leaving me in this. Oh. All, all, all these tears to me, uh, Papa. It makes no sense. I know uncountable times, Sister Sister Joanne came here seeking for your support for her to leave that marriage. But she instead she was asked to go back and fix her marriage. Harrison, my son, there's nothing we would have done. There's no one would have supported John to leave her husband's home. This will put so many questions to people's mind. Now it looks as if my community do not have norms and customs. And her husband's people, they've not said anything concerning this matter. And we can't take any decision on our own without hearing from them. Oh, it's all right. Well, uh, maybe I, I should I should just handle this in my own way. Please don't add salt to injury. So please come back here. Please come back. Alice, don't go anywhere. Come, come, come back, back here. Back here. And I said, come back here. Oh. It don't dare walk out on me. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, what is this? Uh, Mom, listen. I didn't call you for you to apportion blames. I'm calling you for you to to know the arrangements of the burial and also to notify you of, I mean, plans. I presume you're man enough to handle situation. Mom, what are you talking about? I... Hold on. Are you saying you're not going to be available? You, 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 you know what? You, I, mean, I, I can't believe you're the one saying all of these things. I, I, can't, I can't believe that. Are you? I can't believe. I mean, how on earth do you even expect me to foot the bills for the burial? How? How? Son, I can't assure you of any monetary support at the moment. Remember, you know how your father threw me out. 
how I have struggled to build my empire. I have been paying your bills. I gave you a house. But mom, listen. Hello, mom. Mom, please. I, I... Babe. Baby, don't look cheerful. What's the problem? My mom. What happened to your mom? She just upsets me right now. What is that here for? Too many questions! Please just leave me alone! Babe? The truth about life is that often time people are being hated when they are real and being loved when they fake. Sister Joan, you are such a realistic and truthful human, but you ended up in a wrong hand. Your death has taught me never to sacrifice too much because when you do, there is nothing else you can give and nobody will care for you. You submitted your all to him as your husband that he is, but he never deserved it. I know you will find peace in the afterlife, but remember that in my heart lies a box of memory for all your good deeds. Sugar. Sugar. Listen, Sugar. I am sorry for yelling at you, okay? I am really, really sorry. Please. How can you transfer aggression for something I know nothing about? That's why I said I'm sorry. Please. Pardon my manners, I just lost it. I'll forgive you this once. Just this once. Because you've not done it before. <laughs> now you see why I love you? That's so sweet. Come here. <laughs> You see, you can doubt that the stars are fire and that the sun don't move. You can doubt truth to be lies, but never doubt my love for you. Down the lake, a rosy reflection of celestial vapor appeared, and I said, 
I love you. I looked to the sky and uh, I meant it. Never log on to loneliness and keep it to yourself. Always share it with someone special. Like you? Yeah, like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say that the dusk is just an illusion because the sun is either above the horizon or below it. This means that day and night have something there and they cannot exist without the other. Yet, they cannot exist on their own. So you can imagine the feeling that I always want to be together, yet we are forever apart. Not anymore, babes. Hmm. Are you sure? You have me all to yourself. All to myself. All to yourself. Yeah, I am all to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, we are all made of a bus of matches inside us. But we all cannot light everything by ourselves. So by experiment, we'll be needing a little oxygen and candle to help. So, what are we waiting for? Let us go all out and strike the candle together. Together. What's the point? What's the point for all of us to gather here today to plant the burial of everything? What's the point? 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 My friend Lily, look at the example in life. Now she's dead in the morgue. I know you have come here. You have arranged the blessing and the wife and the little man died. So now we are what was he be judged for? What was he be judged for? She looked up to you. But you were concerned about the oil in your head and you allowed her to stay in this hell she called marriage. If you had to be a doctor, we have allowed her to live in this hell you call marriage. But for both of you, they're supposed to be acting in grace. But what? You were bent on tradition. What do people say? What do we talk about us? That is all you came for. Ah. 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 My friend lived all her life for a man and she didn't even have the chance to express herself. She didn't have a stand to make her own decision. You don't know what the devil What is that you're crying? What is that for? What, what, what was that? The devil we talk about is a human like us. What's that? What's that? What, what that crocodile tears for? You drag around, you blood sucking demon. You're a vampire. You're a vampire. You thought she was a meta. You thought she was a meta. Now she's broken. She's in the mob. She's broken. Frankly, she's broken. I've never seen a man like you, a murderer. Friend, you came, murderer. You couldn't even wait for her body to rest. You're already bringing another woman. Friend, the guy hates you. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My friend, you changed up in the world. My friend, you're bringing a woman to your house, Frankly. What are you mad? What are you mad? You're just a blood sucking dick. Friend, you can Thank <laughs> you.
Babe. What is the matter again? Hmm? You've been cold since last night. Look, you haven't even touched your food. Her words. Her words pierced my heart like a needle. Clear conscience, they say, pierce no accusation. Or, do you have a hand in How dare you! How dare you ask me that stupid question! Hey, do you want to kill me too? It was just a simple question, and it deserves a simple answer. Do you? Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> I think I'll get this. <laughs> Why have I not even find time to depart from you all those years? Maybe simply because you do not have anywhere to go. And your only option is to remain here. <laughs> Me, Emilia, don't have anywhere to go to. Let me tell you something. Every woman is a wife material. 
But what matters is the ability of the teller to manage the material to suit the bearer. Then what happens if the material is not strong enough? <laughs> Look, it's either the needle has worn out and has lost the ability to pierce through. When the salt loses its test, it becomes bitter and valueless. Get your ugly face out of my sight! <laughs> Go on! What are you waiting for? You want to hit me? Go on and hit me! That's all you know how to do. I can see you derive joy in doing that. You want to hit me. Shameless man. You want to hit me. Hit me now. Dad. Your question is very simple. See? The female folks, they absolutely have nothing to contribute to your life. Apart from the production or fulfilling that portion of the scripture that says a man shall leave his parents and cleave unto a woman, and they too shall become one. In other words, they have nothing. They are valueless in your life as a man. If that be it, then why the joy and smile faces on the day of a wedding in your wedding pictures? just to fulfill all righteousness. Since the world believes that only the married ones are, are responsible, that's just it. Food is served over here at the dining, waiting for the ready men to come. My rules. Why would you keep to my rules? Rubbish. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Fred, what is matter with you? I see what is all over your face. Is it true that women are useless to mankind, most especially we the men? To me, that is not true. My parents love each other unconditionally. They prove that by being useful to one another. Hmm. What then should I believe?
Dad! Now go to your room this minute! Go to your room! And you, take your filthy rags and leave my house this minute. Now, leave my house! I said leave my house! Leave my Take your things and leave my house! Take your things and leave my <laughs> Take your filthy things and leave. Go! I don't want you anymore. Go. Again, I ask why do men get married? Maybe just for a reproduction, as he rightfully said. And why must God create marriage if this is how it is? I doubt if truly it was made by God. Don't worry, honey. Mommy is home now, okay? Eat your food.
Did not you feel safe? I'm the one you're saying. Oh my god! Do you know all lost hope of you coming back to life? How did it happen? It's all by the mercy of God. David, I went through battle. But the God of heaven and earth never allowed me to go from there. Mm -hmm. He saw me through it all. David, if there's anything you do for me in this life, it's this one. Anything, just do it. Please, can you permit me to? Stay in your house for now. <laughs> Is that it? Joanne, you're welcome to my house any time, any day. You don't even need permission to come to my house. I'm just happy you're alive. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Life is too sweet and precious. Leave that house before you lose your life. Any man who scourges his wife is not even a beast in disguise. Say no to domestic violence and women brutality. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome.